marking an object at specified distances. Let's go ahead and draw a couple of lines here. I'm going to draw one 10 inches long. And we'll do the same on another one. 10 inches long. Now, we want to specify, and it will place a mathematical point, the point command, at any particular distance. This works good if we're laying things out on 16 inches on center, etc. So we're going to go up to our draw panel. Hit the down triangle to the extended menu. We're going to come over and we're going to go to measure. We click on measure and it's to select the object to measure. I'm going to measure this object and it's to specify the length of the segment. I'm going to go 0.75. I'll hit enter and it will measure starting at this end, 0.75, all the way across until it gets to the end and it will have the remainder here because this 10 inch line doesn't divide equally into 0.75 units. So let's do that again. Notice I picked over here when I picked the line. Let's go up here and do draw. We're going to do measure. This time I'm going to select on the right side of the line and I'm going to say the length of the line is 0.75 and notice it started measuring on this side and went all the way across and it will put the remainder at the other end. So uh, we can use the measure tool which is found up here in the draw extended menu and this measure tool uh, puts the mathematical point object uh, at regular measured intervals. And so remember, we can always go up to the utilities, go to our point styles, and change how we want to see that point. And now it's, it's hard to see, so that's why I had set it to uh, this particular style so we could see what that point looks like. Now I could use my object snap my node object snap to snap onto those mathematical points and judge and draw geometry.